my editor called me from the, the paper and, and told me about a hotel building they heard collapsed in the Songshan area. And they were rescuing people in and out. And I noticed one, there was one lady and the firefighter, he put his coat over her to keep her warm and maybe to be more modest because she had like night clothes on, I think. And I pressed the button right then. A new documentary on the devastating 7.3 magnitude earthquake that struck Taiwan on September 21st, 1999, has been released for the 25th anniversary of the disaster. A special screening of the film was hosted by the Canadian Trade Office in Taipei. It follows the experience of Canadian photojournalist David Smith, who captured some of the most enduring photos of the earthquake and its aftermath. The quake, referred to as the 921 or Gigi quake, killed close to two and a half thousand people and destroyed 50,000 homes. Smith says his commemoration project holds special significance for him. It's been on my mind. That's the most biggest news event I've ever covered was the 921. And uh, it affected me a lot, just covering it emotionally. It might be kind of cool to try and find people in the pictures. And I thought that was crazy. <laughs> that was definitely mission impossible. I look at the photos, there was, you know, there was an earthquake baby, there's a rescue worker, there's a firefighter. No, it's not possible to find people from the photos that someone took 25 years ago. It's not possible. I mean, people change. I think the, the reason that I really want, wanted to make it happen was, you know, unlike typhoons, earthquakes are not predictable. It could happen just one minute. It could happen now. One of the people in Smith's photos a newborn baby delivered just days before the quake in a remote indigenous community was particularly difficult to track down. Director Roger Jung remembers the moment he realized he had found her. I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps when the, when the village chief said, no, I know this mother. She's Miss Huang. I was like, really? Yeah. I was sent to uh, her line message between him, myself, and the mom, <laughs> and I sent out a photo and say, yeah, that's me and my daughter. The filmmakers were able to track down all three of the people from the photos. While Smith says the experience of photographing 921 was pivotal for his career, even leading to international photography awards, he says it took an emotional toll. Doing the earthquake stuff, oh, you feel like a ghoul. I mean, when I was at, the, at Taichung, they had containers that were refrigerated and it was just stacked full of bodies. You know, little kids' pictures decorating them with toys and stuff and then incense. And it's just like, ah, uh, you can't look into people's eyes without, uh, without seeing the hurt. And uh, uh, unless you're soulless, you, you're going to feel something. But the filmmakers say they were glad to be able to document a key moment in Taiwan's history and that lessons were learned from the tragedy. I'm really happy about it, and, and hopefully it's, it's a piece of Taiwan history and people will remember it. And I'm kind of proud to do that, to, to be part of like Taiwan history, you know, or to, to record part of it, I mean. Revisiting 921, now available to view on Taiwan Plus, comes almost six months after another major earthquake in April. It offers a reminder of how far the nation has come since that defining tragedy 25 years ago. Kamashu, Pichi Zhuang, and Chris Gorin for Taiwan Plus.